In this video, I'm going to give you two ways to change the season to autumn in seconds. And at the end, I'll tell you how to do the same thing in three seconds or less. So no excuse to not watch it. So let's get straight to it. So here we are in Photoshop and we have a very beautiful image with a lot of greenery, but we have to convert this to autumn season. So the first thing that you need to do, create an adjustment layer of selective color to create an adjustment layer. If you don't know it, click on this circle with a half gray, half white. Okay. And selective color. So all you have to do, you have to change the color from reds or whatever your default color is to yellow. Make sure yellow is checked and take the cyan all the way back to minus 100 or somewhere around minus 90 or something like that. Increase the magenta just a little bit. There you go. Increase the yellow just a little bit and you're done. Close it. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. Season changed. It did take some time, but here's the thing. You can always double click on this one. You can always go back and tweak it more if you want to. You can increase the yellow much more. You can increase the magenta if you want to. You can make it brighter or darker. So whatever you want to do, let's add a curves adjustment layer on top of it. There you go. Let's give it a little brightness and contrast. There you go. It looks nice, doesn't it? So let's look at the before and after. So let's make a group of both of these. Control or command, hold the controller command and select both of these and controller command G makes a group before, after season changed. Okay. Now, before we move on to another awesome way of doing this, let me explain how to do this in three seconds or less. You might have already guessed it. Let's delete all of this. And the only way to do this is create an action. Simple. Go to windows actions. Just click on this actions and let's start recording a new action. To create a new action, click on this new icon and name it autumn or anything you want. Autumn. There you go. Click record and just keep it at a side for a minute and create the same thing. Create a selective color. Take it all the way down. Take it all the way. Do it. Whatever you want to do it, do with it. Okay. There you go. If you want to add curves, you can if you want to uh, go to curves. Let's add a little bit brightness and a little contrast to it. There you go. And once you're satisfied, just press stop. Done. Okay. So throw it off to test it. All you have to do, make sure this layer is selected. Make sure autumn is selected. Play it. Done. In one second, depending upon the speed of your computer, of course. All right. So let's move on to the next way. So let's delete both of these and let's move on to the next one. And this is, this one is a really strange one. You might not have done it before. It's a really off the beaten path. All right. So let's go to image mode and change it to lab colors. Okay. Rasterize it. Now watch what happens. Image, apply image and change the channel from lab, which would be the default selection to B. Watch what happens. Changes the season. Make sure the blending mode is soft light. By default, it might be normal. So make sure you change it to soft light or, or overlay. This is for harsh effect. This is for soft effect. Okay. Overlay is good for this one. You can always increase or decrease the opacity, maybe 50 or whatever you want, maybe 100. Okay. But once you do this, once you click OK, there's no going back. You might create this into another layer, but this doesn't give you the flexibility of selective color adjustment layer, but this gives you a very nice effect. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. So that's an awesome representation of autumn, but obviously does come with some trade-offs. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this little quick tip was helpful to you. And if this was, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Bye.